Hi, this is Kirsten from Embroidery Central. This video is about the Magic Wand tool in Stitch Artist. I'm using Level 2. The Magic Wand is a quick way to create objects from a base image. So this image that I have here kind of looks like fireworks. It looks like it might just be a black box with a couple of pretty lines drawn in it. The computer, though, doesn't see it that way. What it sees is a whole bunch of different colors. In fact, you can see probably in the bottom of this image how there are like speckles of yellow or white light in the black area. So this image may not be the best one to use a magic wand on. Let's try it and I'll just show you how that is. So we click on the magic wand and the sensitivity controls appear on the right. Currently sensitivity is set to 60. Let's try that on this bright yellow line here. And you can see on the right, it actually, that sensitivity is too high. It has decided to grab the whole area of the whole box instead of just the yellow. So we can actually slide that sensitivity down and try to change that. Now we have a little tiny line, a little bit up. Oh, and we got the box again. So you see, this is not my best choice. So what kind of images do work better? Well, let's go over here where I have a flag design. Flags or cartoons that are bold in color and don't have a lot of shading work really well with the magic wand. So I'm going to start here with the, the green area of the background of our design. Currently my sensitivity is set at 50. I'll leave it there. And now that did pretty good. That created the, the box with the, like a handle on top, just, just like the green area is. I could go a little bit more sensitive and try to capture this here, but I can also edit those notes later. So I'm not real concerned about that. But what I do have is an area that is not green, this bird right here. And we can actually create a hole while we're doing this with the magic wand by just clicking look for holes. And it finds that bird and creates a hole in the design for it. And you can see that in the objects. And it created a hole. That's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and create my next item. And I've created the red stripe. That's also a pretty good outline. I could take my sensitivity up a little bit higher or a little bit lower. And I've created another stripe. And I create my last stripe. It looks like to me that's. Um, not as good as I want it to be. I'll take the sensitivity down a little bit and there that looks nicer to me. And of course I can edit these all later. Now I'm pretty happy with the basic outlines that I have so far. So to finish this design creation, these object creations, I'm going to right click. And now I can make my edits. And so now the one thing that I didn't create yet is the bird. I created a hole for it so that if I apply stitches to this shape, it doesn't cover the bird, but it also left an area between the bird's legs, which I probably actually do want to be co covered with green stitches. So I can zoom into this and edit my points, make a space between these the bird's legs here so that I don't lose all that. Oh dear, that would be the wrong one to move. Some of these nodes are kind of on top of each other. It created so many of them, but that's better. Now I have a spot where the bird won't be stitched underneath. And that, so I've created a good hole there. Now, what if I want to create an object for the bird? This is probably going to be more difficult. You can probably see that already because it's full of little black lines. It's not quite as simple as the rest of our image was, but we can try it. So I'm going to unclick look for holes and I'll take my magic wand and move the sensitivity up actually quite a bit because of all the black. And we'll just see what happens. So I'll click right here on the wing. I got quite a bit of the bird. If I move my sensitivity up even higher, I get more of it. If I go to maximum, it's still doing a pretty good job. It has a whole bunch of nodes but I can edit those. It looks like I'm not going to get the rest of the wing the way that I did that. 
so I can, I'm just going to right click and accept that and then finish drawing by editing the notes so that I can get more of the bird's body. And maybe, maybe actually drawing this bird would have been quicker than using the magic wand. And so that is the use of the magic wand in Stitch Artist.